Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv and today we're going to check out the Aphex Exciter on Toms. I was uh, recently watching Warren uh, over at Produce Like a Pro interview Reed Shippen and he happened to notice um, the Aphex Exciter in his rack and Reed said, oh yeah, that's a, um, occasionally I use that as kind of a cheat for Toms. Uh, they didn't demo it, they didn't show it, um, but it got me curious enough to try it on my own. This thing is great for kick drum, bass guitar. Um, of course it'd be great for toms. This is gonna be pretty cool, I think. Uh, Aphex Exciter on toms. Let's do it. Here's the front of the Aphex Exciter. In case you're unfamiliar with it, the unit is two channels. Channel one on the left, channel two on the right. There are two sets of three knobs. The left three are for the low frequencies or the big bottom. The right three are for the aural exciter, for the high frequencies. Let's look at the low end first. On the left we have the drive knob. I usually set this according to the light, so it mostly affects the sound of the attack. Next we have the frequency, and this, again, I usually set by ear, and I'm usually sweeping the frequencies to get a fuller sound out of the tom. Next we have the amount, and the amount is also set by ear, sometimes I can crank it up real loud and then back it down. Again, the key here is not going too crazy with this. The effect itself can be very powerful, so sometimes you only need just a little bit. I'll be a little more aggressive today so you can hear what I'm doing. On the right of channel one, we have the exciter. So first we have frequency, again, set by ear. Next we have the harmonics, which set um, how wide or how narrow the effect is. And then we have the amount. Finally, we have the channel one, channel two on and off. It's basically like a bypass.
Okay, so let me know what you thought. I've had a couple requests for this. Uh, it wasn't just uh, the Produce Like a Pro episode. Uh, I, I love his videos, by the way. But it was also uh, that I just got requests for this video. And I was also curious myself what the exciter could do for Tom's. So let me know what you thought in the comments below.